Hi everybody, this is Professor West for GMC, and we are still working on Alice. In this section, we're going to do some procedures and functions, and we're going to actually have some interaction going on between some of these characters. So let's start off by setting everything up. Click um, If you're already here, you can follow along. If not, you might pause this video and start a new project. So click the setup scene, and we're going to add some um, of the characters. So let's go ahead and do browse gallery by group. And let me show all the groups. Uh, let's go ahead and pick animals or characters, either one. You can pick, I'm going to pick animals. And let's bring several of them on here. So scroll over a little bit. Let's get one of these bison. They're big and just drag it right up here and put it kind of towards the back. I'm gonna put mine towards the back. I think I want mine on the back left. I'm just gonna leave its name as Bison and click OK. And that's gonna put it up there. And come on over a little further. Let's get this bunny rabbit. I'm gonna put it right in the middle here. And I'm gonna get this camel and I'm gonna put it way over here on the left. And click OK. And actually, I'm going to move it a little further to the left just so it's out of the way a little bit. And what else do we want? Let's move along and maybe let's find a chicken and put it somewhere back here out of the way or up here out of the way. And it gives you the choice. I'm just going to use the default chicken. Tell it OK. And let's add a couple more things. You don't have to add exactly what I'm adding. Maybe I'm going to add a blue coyote because I just think that's a really cool looking coyote. And you can do the new one, the brown or blue. I'm going to do the blue one because I just think that's a pretty cool looking coyote. And why not? Let's put the turtle on there. You can put anything you want, like I said. I'm just going to put a bunch of stuff and the point of this exercise, I'm going to start off just have teaching the rabbit to go up to one of these creatures and say hello. Then we're going to teach it to jump over each creature. And then we're going to take it from there and add some more stuff to it. Now that you've got all five creatures on there, and you can move them around however you like, let's go back to the code section. So click the edit code button and we'll go back into the code section. So right off the bat let's come up here to this top one over here in the procedures and click this drop down and let's choose the bunny because that's the one that we're going to want to actually um, do things. So come down to bunny and when this other box pops up come to the second one here that says add bunny procedure. Remember we talked about it before, procedures tell it to do things. So click on that, and it's going to say, oh, okay, what would you like to name this procedure? I'm just going to name it Visit, because I'm going to have this bunny visit the other creatures. It doesn't matter what you name it, as long as you name it something that's meaningful. So if we have 10 different procedures up here, you don't want them all to be generically named or you have to keep going through and guessing which one you want. If, if I know that he's going to be visiting people and I call it visit, then I'll definitely know which one that one is. When I clicked OK, notice it created one over here. I already had my initialization stuff and now I put one here for bunny and visit. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to click add parameter. Now a parameter is a way of telling the function some additional information. So I'm going to click add parameter. I'll fill that in a little bit more shortly, a little better explanation. And right here where it says value type, click this little drop down. And we have several different choices. Um, the parameter could be a decimal number, a whole number, a boolean, a text string. could be something from the gallery class. 
or it could be something else. We're going to click gallery class. And that's going to bring up all the different um, gallery stuff. Now notice these are in kind of a hierarchical type setting. So for example, this one says is turnable. Everything that's indented under that is part of that, which means it's turnable. This one says movable turnable. So everything that's indented under that one is part of that group. This one says modal, S modal. That's the one we're going to click, or model, S model. That's the one we're going to choose. This is going to include all of the creatures that we just put on the bison, the bunny, the camel, the chicken, the coyote, the, the turtle but it's not going to include the ground or the camera or anything like that. So click the S model button and click OK. Now we need to give it a name. Let's call it, everybody call it the same thing as you're following along. You can call it something else later. Friend to visit. I'm making it all one word, no spaces. And notice how I did not capitalize the very first letter, but the first letter of each word after that I capitalized. This is called camel case. It makes it a little easier to read. If it's all lowercase, then it just all kind of runs together. But if you capitalize the first letter of every word, then it makes it easier to distinguish the words. You don't have to do it on the first one because it's already easy to distinguish. So friend to visit. This is going to figure out who we're visiting and how it's going to respond. So click OK. And now notice my friend to visit is right up here and it's in the S modal or model. Not sure which one that's supposed to be. OK. Right now we're still clicked on the bunny. So right here you can see where it says there's a little picture of a bunny and it says this. That tells you that all of these down here that reference this is going to be referencing this bunny. Later we'll use some others as well. So what do I want to happen? Well, if my bunny is going to go visit some of these other, other animals, the first thing it would do is turn towards them. So let's scroll down until we find turn to face. It's in the orientation section. Turn to face. And I'm just going to click on that and drag it right up here into the screen. And it asks, who do I want to turn to face? Well, it wouldn't make any sense to turn the bunny to face itself. That would just be weird. So we're going to turn the bunny to face the friend that we're going to visit. So click on friend to visit. So now, I haven't told it who the friend to visit is yet. So it's not going to do me a lot of good. And we want the friend that we're going to visit to do the same thing. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to tell it to copy to the clipboard, which puts a copy right up here and I'm just going to drag it right off and drag back down here. So that makes a second one that's exactly the same. I'm going to click this little drop down and I'm going to change it. So instead of this, it's going to be friend to visit. And instead of friend to visit, it's going to be this. So my rabbit, which is this, is going to point towards my friend to visit. And my friend to visit is going to point towards my rabbit. So the next thing I want to do after they turn towards each other, I want my rabbit to move. So I'm going to come down to the one that says move which is right here. It's one of the top ones. It says this move. I'm going to drag it right on. And this brings up some additional information. Where do I want it to move? Well, I want it to move forward because it's already facing where I want it to be. How far do I want it to move? For now, I want it to move one. We'll fix that later to make it perfect. So for now, it's just going to move one. I'll, uh, we'll create a function in just a few minutes that'll handle the rest. Actually, we're going to create a function right now. 
So now we're going to go to functions. We're still on the rabbit, still rabbit this. We're going to go to functions, which means all of the thises refer to this rabbit. And we're going to get the one that says get distance to. So let's come down. There we go. Get distance to. It's in the others. It's a little below the screen for, for most of it. Get distance to. And I'm going to bring it. Notice how my whole screen just changed colors. It's going to show you a black box around wherever you can put this. There's only one thing that's up right now where I could put this get distance to. And it's right here with this one. So when I put it here, see how it kind of grays itself out. And then it's going to ask, what do I want to choose? I'm going to choose friend to visit. Because I want to get the distance. I'm already, I already know where the rabbit is. I want to get the distance to the friend that I'm visiting. Okay. Now we'll go back into procedures. Remember a few minutes ago, we created one that we called visit, a procedure. Now we're gonna use it. We're gonna grab it, we're gonna drag it on. Um, okay, hold on. Oops, okay, so I'm not here. We need to come up to where it says my first method. This is where the program is going to start running. It's going to start with this code in here. The stuff we were setting up a minute ago, this was all just for the bunny. So click over here on my first method. And then come over here and we're going to tell it to work with the bunny. So click the drop down and come down to this dot bunny. In this one, this is the screen. So this dot bunny tells it to on the screen the bunny. So now we'll grab the visit and drag it up here. And it's going to let us pick who we want to visit first. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to pick the chicken. Why not? Okay. So let's run it. What we've told it to do so far is we've told it whoever this is, which now it's the chicken, our bunny is going to turn to face it. It's going to turn to face the bunny. And then the bunny is going to come to it. So let's run it and see what happens. They face each other, and they pretty much crashed into each other. That's okay. We can fix that. Let's close this out. And let's go back to... Okay, so click back on the Visit tab up here, where we were setting all this up. We said this, which is the bunny again, get the distance to the friend to visit. Well, now we're going to add another detail. So click the detail and let's see. Let's, hold on. Let me think about this one for one second. I'm not. Okay. There it is. Get distance to. Click on that. And when you come down here, you have some different options. Right now we've told it the distance to the friend to visit. You could pick some numbers or some random decimal. Come down to the one that says math. And we're going to point to the one that's a subtraction sign. And we're going to subtract one from it. That should tell it to stop before it gets there. So hit run. And now they turn towards each other and it stops, yeah, stops one before it gets there. You could change that, play around with those numbers a little bit. It just um, depends on what you want to do. So I'm going to stop this video for now and we'll pick this up in the next one. So everybody save your work and I'll see you in the next segment. Bye everybody.